On this edition of Quick Peaks, the coronavirus has caused communities the world over to change the ways in which they conduct their everyday lives. But for our summit community, there is one thing that has not changed, our commitment to inspiring learning. Distance learning is, for the time being, the new normal. So today, I want to show you some of the extraordinary work being done by some of teachers and students as they harness the digital toolbox to keep teaching and learning interactive and fun. I'm Michael Ebling. So this is Flipgrid to tell us good morning. And then I would like for you to show us where you've got your home office set up. Hi guys, it's me. I do have some colors coming through. Oh, and a highlighter. And can't forget my amazing math book. And I'm gonna go over this information in this recording, but I've also sent a copy of the PDF to you so that you can go over it on your own. Over the past two weeks, Summit teachers have been crafting digital versions of their curriculum in order to allow students the chance to keep their skills and minds sharp during this unique challenge. Teaching and learning continue to happen, and I am blown away at how our teachers and students have risen to that challenge. A message from the sixth grade multimedia production studio. That's all for today. I'm Schaffer. I'm Skyler. I'm Sarah. And this is Screaming Old Radio, our school, local music. Along with writing, the Shang also had music, including drums, cymbals, bells, and bone flutes. They created a lunar calendar based on the... So this is the book I'm reading. It's called The Magic School Bus Takes a Nap. And it reminded me of the time I was learning how to back away from black bears. And the way Think about how you can be a helper. And, and I started before everybody got here saying the why, pie, why, go. What you put in is what you're going to get out of it. And what do you notice in these clips? Comfort, emotion, joy, and genuine curiosity. These are all words in the poetry of teaching. In a time when technology gets a bad rap for isolating and separating us, you're seeing how our teachers turn technology into advantage. Our teachers have created spaces for the individual child to show up, and the students own those spaces. Times both things, but you're distributing a negative. So negative times 6x would be negative 6x, and a negative times positive 3 would be negative 3. You see students operating at a different rate of learning, and they have control of that rate. It's what community looks like on a screen. And this sudden new world experiment thrust upon us will result in understanding and approaches that will make us all better teachers, better learners, and make some at a better school. What does dry rot mean? So dry rot is when wood gets um, wet. Different. I have added to the top of the list, be patient. We're going through a very difficult time. We want to be together. I want to be doing this with you. We are all giving up many. I'm so proud of our entire community as we all work together to ease into this new and hopefully brief distance learning environment. I look forward to all of us being back together on our campus, a place where we have come to value and appreciate our relationships. In the meantime, please know that we are all in for Quick Peaks, I'm Michael Webling. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away.